Okay, so we're going to do a couple of Fiji tutorials today with the Velocity, um, Perkinelma Velocity software that we have on a couple of our spinning discs. And so the folder comes here with a little icon, and this is the, the Velocity icon here. And this is the project you'll save from the acquisition software. And if you look inside, you'll see an MVD2 file, and this is the one you want to take into Fiji. And it has a, a data folder too, which has all the raw data, and this is kind of down in sequence what you'd see in the different sections inside that project file. And so they must go together. And let's drag and drop that MVD2 on Fiji. We get the bioformats import options. There's a YouTube on that on how to get this window to show if it doesn't show and some settings associated with that. So check that one out if you need to. Uh, so we just go with the defaults normally just to auto scale essentially. Uh, and then we, it pops up a series option. You get this with the lift files too. And then it always selects the first one. So watch out for that. You'll end up opening that one as well. So pick the ones you want to do. You'll see a file name and a number of inf uh, stats you can use to pick it out, image size, number of planes and things like that will help you identify which file it is. So let's go ahead and just pick out the first one, click OK and that will pull it in. It takes a little while to come in, it doesn't really give you any warning, no update on what's going on. Um, just as a side note, if we go to Process Explorer, so Google Process Explorer is the first hit. I recommend downloading this, it will give you a breakdown of what's going on with your computer so you can see what's what's happening at every given point. So if I get an overview, I can see there was a, a blip here. It was reading the in-out part, and it was doing some processing too. So you can you can follow what's happening with a machine, especially with software that doesn't give you a complete heads up about stuff. Here's the file that's come in, and here's a time lapse that we're going to use for tracking. This is taken on on the spinning disk. Um, and so today we're going to talk about um, exporting to a movie. There are a couple of options in Fiji, but it never really worked that well for me. I've had more success with this uh, set of set of downloads for a plugin save as a movie I'll put the link in the bottom um, you need to download the main jar file all of these different combinations these four here and then the pairs you need here for your different OS so whichever OS you've got get that one and that one for example is what I downloaded once you've downloaded those you have to put them into your plugins folder so find your Fiji.app where you've opened it, unzipped it, wherever it lives. So I keep mine on Google Drive and sync it across different machines because I'm in, in different places. Um, and once you go into that plugins folder, you just drop it in here. So you'll see that there's a one of them is a Sabres movie and all the other ones are in there too. So once you've put them in place, you open up Fiji and then you'll see a file, save as and a movie option here. So before we do that, let's just take a look at the image. Um, we're going to just change it to green and and edit the contrast, control shift C just to make it stand out a little bit and when you export a movie in this fashion it will sh export exactly what you see on the screen let's go to file, save as and then pick movie and there's a bunch of settings here we can go through frame rate is the frame rate you want it to be played back at in the movie player um, I think this was collected at 10 frames a second so I'm going to go with that exactly the same you've got .mov, .mp4 this uh, doesn't matter too much I don't think I tend to stick to mp4 but .mov for, for Mac people um, these two I'd stay for either MPEG or H.264 these ones in the middle uh, un, uh, unfamiliar and I'm not sure if you have issues with those and the cust custom quality is giving me more luck you can kind of pick a quality but I think if you just go for custom you can have more control and put in a bit rate lower bit rates will give you a smaller file but it will become kind of choppy um, so this is it seems to be a good number but you just kind of want to move it to show people you're not going to analyze this so keep it lower so the file sizes are reasonable but you can experiment with that and so we go ahead and it'll want to save somewhere it doesn't remember where you were last unfortunately and let's go into our um, data set and just save it here so it's going to go ahead and you'll see it converts to an RGB so whatever we see here it just makes it into a picture uh, make sure you check out data versus a picture if that's an unfamiliar difference and then it will save the movie um, any second we'll see it appear over here so now we've got like a 3 meg file from a, I think 1.6 gigabytes of data that we had pulled in there and then so that's something you can then share and put in the powerpoints um, and next one we're going to do uh, maybe a little bit more complicated do a macro on how to pull these files in bit by bit from these these project type files